kupambana na ufisadi nchini askofu David Oginde amedokeza kuwa tume hiyo itaendelea kutekeleza majukumu yake pasipo na kupendelea yeyote hii ni kutokana na ongezeko la ufisadi katika kaunti nyingi nchini hata hivyo anataka tume ya maadili na kupambana na ufisadi ESCC kupewa mamlaka ya kuweza kushughulikia kesi zake kutokana na wingi wa kesi katika afisi ya mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma ODPP Beatrice Njoroge na ripoti kamili Mwenyekiti wa tume ya maadili na kupambana na ufisadi nchini Askofu David Oginge akizungumza katika kaunti ya Mombasa amesema kuwa tume hiyo itaendelea kutekeleza majukumu yake pasipo na kupendelea upande wowote Hii ni kutokana na ongezeko la ufisadi katika kaunti nyingi nchini Askofu Oginge amesisitiza umuhimu wa kufuata sheria hata hivyo amelalamika kuwa wafanyikazi wadogo hutumika kuiba pesa za kaunti na wakubwa wao. We are not targeting we go for any uh, incidences of corruption whether big or small. If you have followed the report that we gave recently, uh, I don't know who Nyangumi sir, uh, but in our in our view, if you look at the report that uh, we gave out recently, we are pursuing Ketrako for example. Ketrako involves uh, big names in in that uh, in that uh, scandal. Isitoshe askofu Oginya anataka tume hii kupewa mamlaka ya kuweza kushughulikia kesi zake kufuatia wingi wa kesi katika afisi ya mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma. To think likewise until now that I'm inside I've realized that small fish are actually the people who are being used by the big fish. Uh, the small fish are not stealing for themselves they are actually stealing for others we have a case like siaya for example which we have just concluded investigations we found a secretary who stole 70 million and i say stole in quotes but she never benefited from that money